We've been doing uh, we've been doing a workout here since well I, I gotta say nine years ago okay it was nine it'd be nine years ago next month and we started a three week, week uh, series for to fight obesity and by the third week we had about 60 people and I left for two weeks and they called me up and asked me to come back and we've been doing it ever since so yes we are about fighting obesity we are about working out but uh, this month I want to show you something I got here see this okay I passed the rest of what I had out I had these made up a couple years ago this says Koga for the cure and what people don't realize they don't take exercise seriously enough and uh, I have to tell you because people that exercise okay have a 50% less chance of getting cancer okay I think that's partly because of all the toxins that you end up flushing out of your system okay when you sweat you excrete toxins okay and we sweat a lot in Koga I, I clocked it today I got over uh, 4,100 steps as the instructor I have several of my students have, have showed me in the past I got 5,000 steps in one workout okay now it's a total muscle confusion workout so you're using lots of muscles doing lots of squats you will feel it the next day you will feel it if you're if you do it right you probably feel it for three days okay it's a good vigorous workout okay if you're feeling it the next day you're still burning calories that's the greatest thing about it so uh, if you're feeling that burn okay now Koga will give you the burn but exercise in general everybody okay now it used to it used to be they recommended about 20 minutes a day well that's one up to 30 okay the minimum just for maintenance okay maintenance we're not talking you're not gaining anything and you're not losing nothing okay you're not gaining muscle and you're not losing anything this maintenance is 30 minutes of walking a day okay or exercise a day now for us that have sedentary lifestyles okay I have to I'm talking to you the, the people that have to sit down to work okay either you got the desk job or you're like me you strapped to a machine that you're operating um, yeah you're sitting down for long periods of time if you can if you can do yourself a favor get a tracker I, I'm not gonna say get a Fitbit there's a lot of them out there Fitbit's uh, been pretty good to me this is my third one I wear these things out why is it important to me because I know if I'm lacking my my maintenance steps at least a day okay but also it's my watch and it's I have a set for every 15 minutes to give me a little pulse reminder that I need to get up and stretch I need to do that so what I do if I can if I'm not too hammered because sometimes I get hammered at work and I just can't and we understand that but if I can I get up I stretch and I even try to do push-ups or anything I can in that amount of time jump back in feel good about myself go back to it and then another 15 20 minutes later do the same thing okay why is that because sitting down is horrible for your health okay it's horrible for your health okay and you see people like postmen you hardly ever see a postman that's overweight why they walk okay I had a postman that was a retired postman that was my neighbor and this guy I'm not kidding you this is what really got me thinking into fitness years ago he was 88 years old still driving and he looked fantastic now why was his neighbor his wife passed away okay and he was really sad but I got to be able to talk to him and asked him about his what he did for a living he said he was a postman for over 50 years and that they figured out that he had walked over five million miles and this guy was amazing I looked at him and I said walking can make you that healthy that's the first thing I thought when he told me that he didn't tell me that but that's what I put in my mind walking can make you that healthy Wow just walking and you know what it's the truth everybody it's just getting out and moving whether you ever do Koga or Zumba or any of the any of these uh, amazing fun workouts if you never do that and you only walk if you only get out and walk your dog and you are being I mean not lying to yourself here's the first clue everybody first clue to getting healthy stop 
lying to yourself and I'm pointing at you because I got three fingers pointing back, okay? You can't be lying to yourself, okay? You can't say, I'm going to lose weight and eat sugar all day, okay? You can't say, I'm going to lose weight and not exercise, okay? I, okay, now listen. There are some amazing, amazing products out there, okay? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I know of some. I have some in my stock that I guarantee you, if you just take them, you will lose weight, okay? But if you do what I instruct you to do with exercise and the proper diet, you will lose weight not only faster, but you will keep it off and you'll be very happy with your out outcome and it won't slow down, okay? Because a lot of these things out there, yeah, they will change your metabolism, they'll do a few things and you will drop maybe five, 10 pounds. But if you want to do anything over that, you're probably not going to happen. It probably won't happen overnight and probably get to the point where uh, you'll just get really frustrated and stop. And that's what all these fad diets do for the most part. Now, a diet shouldn't be something that you go on. Okay, I've had this debate forever. Since the first time I lost weight, way, way back in the 80s when I picked up a little tiny book at a counter of the Lucky's Grocery Market. Okay, it was a $1 booklet and it said, lowering your carbohydrates to lose weight. I picked up that $1 book and I read it cover to cover about eight, nine times. It didn't have any meal plans. It didn't have anything in it. It just, it just had statistics, okay? Oh, well, I read the statistics and because numbers don't lie, people, and I've told you this several times, okay, numbers don't lie. I got on and said, look, if I can keep my carbohydrate grams below 60 a day, I'm going to lose weight. So I figured it out. Now, calories for me were always harder to count than carbohydrates. So when I found out that 60 was the number in carbohydrates and I kept my carbohydrates below 60, I was going to lose weight along with exercise. Boom. That first trial in my life of changing my mindset and changing my, my diet and really just looking at the point of saying, okay, I'm going to eliminate the sugars and the whites and those things and keep my carbohydrates below 60 a day. I lost 65 pounds in three months just doing that. Now that was in my early 20s. Let's fast forward to my 40s, okay? Let's look at maybe the fourth time losing weight, okay? Been on the roller coaster, yeah? I've done it, everybody, okay? I get into my 40s and not happy with my outcome, not happy with my success, not happy with my weight at all. In fact, I hate to say it, I was pushing 280 at the time, okay? Two, I think I clocked up as high as 284. And um, not happy with anything, not happy with the way I felt, not happy with the way I looked, and was really, you know, I'm gonna say, just not a happy person with myself at all, you know, and uh, that self-esteem is a big deal, especially when you're, you're in business or anything. So I was offered up a, a diet plan, okay, that with the company Sizzle International, and we started this in 2011, okay, January of 2011, they launched a meal replacement. And we left at a convention in Las Vegas and me and my wife on the way home looked at each other and said, you know what? We're going to lose the weight. We're going to do this. So we stuck out, stuck it out. And within eight months, I had dropped 71 pounds. Okay. Now, when you get older, like I told you, when I was younger, I did the carbohydrate thing on 65 pounds in three months. When you get older, you have kids, you got other situations, things are a little bit different. Okay, the older you get, it get, it's a little bit tougher. It takes a little bit longer. But in eight months, I'd lost 71 pounds. I consequently won a weight loss contest doing it at the same time. And you know what? I didn't stop. That's when I started getting into fitness and got into Koga because I said, listen, if I want to do this right, it's going to be with exercise. I know that exercise is the key to maintenance. I know that exercise is the key to longevity. And I did it. And that's when I got introduced to John Koga and started the whole Koga California uh, frenzy out here. You know what? Everybody, that's what it is. It's about taking steps at a time, okay? Find out what works for you. But listen, you have to feed your body right. You have to be 
in the right mindset okay you have to draw from strength from others okay don't think you can go it alone and make this journey because you're gonna crash and burn I know several people that have been coaches okay they've been coaches over the years but they're really they're fighting some demons okay and I'm gonna tell you a lot of people fight a lot of different types of demons out there they could be it could be alcohol it could be just sugar okay it could be just sugar sugar is it's a monster, everybody. It's a monster. Sugar is probably one of the biggest reasons we have so much cancer and other things. Uh, it seems cancer seems to feed off of sugar. It just it just does. Um, it, it's amazing. I mean, our our immune systems get totally destroyed by by sugar. Okay, why do you think that that uh, people get sick around the holiday time so much? Okay, they start ingesting a lot, a lot of sugar. Now, how can I prove this? Well, we could just prove it by by a, a lot of things. I can show you statistics on it. In fact, um, I've been been studying sugar for for years, and I do have some research I can share with you. But but trust me, if you could limit your amount of sugar and up your exercise and up your water intake only, if you did just that over the holidays, you would lose weight you feel better about yourself and you would boost your immune system a little bit okay if you would start to ingest vitamin C vitamin D magnesium and zinc and do all that eliminate the sugar and exercise then then you're on the right track to boosting your immune system getting that immune system up there where it needs to be where you can be healthy okay whether you want to take the jab or not the jab does not protect you from getting sick, okay? They keep saying that over and over and over again. I hope everybody gets that, okay? If you take the jab, you take a flu shot, whatever. Listen, it's only as good as your next episode that you run into, okay? The next, let's say, bug, okay? The next bug you run into, it's only as strong as the next bug you run into. How do you boost your immune system up to the next level? Well, I'm going to tell you, okay? Eliminate inflammation, okay? If you, I just listened to tons of doctors on this. What they're finding out for people, especially with upper respiratory illnesses or things that are out there, bugs that have upper respiratory infections or bacteria infects whatever if you have a cap on your inflammation okay so your body's not already inflamed okay then you're gonna have a better chance at beating it okay sizzle international happens to have a few things out there and this is how I found them over the years ago and I'm gonna plug for them real quick got a, a an amazing liquid it's called fucoidin it's made from seaweed now this is an inflammation killer it destroys inflammation okay you get on this product the liquid i started taking it twice a day 12 years ago got my shoulder back in order i didn't have to have surgery amazing but not only that it just removes inflammation throughout your body my wife suffers from fibromyalgia she takes it daily to keep the inflammation down okay if you don't have an inflammation around your lungs, you're going to breathe a lot better, okay? It just makes sense, okay? So for that, everybody, check out Sizzle International. You can find us at www.n2, that's the letter 2, I mean, excuse me, the letter N and the number 2, S-I-S-E-L.com, sizzle.com. Check us out there. we got an amazing new collagen product. For muscles, aches, joints, pains, that type of thing, I think you need to be on this product. Everybody's telling me it, it is amazing for that. I'm on so many others right now. I haven't even had a chance to try it. My wife is hiding it from me, okay? So everybody, God bless you. We'll see you on the next one. I'm posting this up everywhere I can. But like I said, hey, get out there and move and let's beat cancer together. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one.